I'm going to get started by building the sides. I've got 36 inch sides and 57 inch sides. I'll get the 36 inch from this side of the board. These are 8 foot long and the 57 from this side. I like to cut the board a little bit heavy first. So I'm going to cut this at 37 inches and then I can square this up because the factory edge on 2 by material isn't always straight. I'm using a speed square to help me get a nice straight cut. Then I'll flip the board around and clean up the factory edge. Now I'll pull from the square cut out to 57 inches and that's my next cut. This is for the long side of the box. Now I'm cutting what I refer to as battens. These will hold the sides together. I need three for the long sides and two for the short sides for a total of 10. I'm using strapping material. If you don't want to use strapping material or if you can't find it, you could also use one by three pine. By using a pre-drill and countersink bit, the wood is less likely to split. And also I'm going to stagger the screws. To build the box, I'm first pre-drilling through the sides with an eighth inch drill bit and I'm using three and a half inch long deck screws with a washer. Sometimes I like to use a washer so I don't set the screws too deep. For the legs, I'm using treated four by fours and I bought two four by four by six footers for this project. I'm making the finished height of the box 32 inches. So I'll measure from the end and put a mark at 32. This saw is not going to be able to cut through the four by four. So I'll flip the post and put another mark, basically wrapping the post with this line. And then I'll cut this line, flip the board 180 degrees, and cut the second line. I'm connecting the legs to the box with a lap joint. First I'll measure down 13 inches, which is the depth of the box, and I'll make a straight cut. Then I'll make a relief cut just about every quarter of an inch. My cordless saw started to run out of power, so I switched over to another saw with a cord. I use a hammer to remove the bulk of the material and then a sharp chisel to finish it up. Can you guys give me a hand getting this off the table? For the bottom of the box, I'm using number four hardware cloth. I'll trim it with tin snips and tack it in place with a staple gun.
And then I'll go over it with a 1x3 and inch and 5 8 screws and picture frame the bottom of the box.